Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the German Rhön again. So this morning I did a little scouting session here, looking for some trees to photograph in the future. And yeah, I found one, I think. But yeah, no photography this morning. The conditions weren't right. It was really, as I said, just a scouting trip. So in this video, we're not doing do, or we're not going to do photography. We're talking about camera bags yet again. Yeah, I know, I know. A lot of videos about camera bags, but yeah, I got a new one or an additional one which I want to show you. And yeah, you might ask why a new one? You just showed us a few videos about your favorite backpack, the Fjord 60C from NYA Evo. And yeah, it is still my favorite backpack. This one here is the little brother, so to say. It's the uh, 36 liter version, so the Fjord 36 from NYA Evo. And I got this one mainly as an additional pack for smaller day trips. But yeah, really the main reason is for travels for my girlfriend to use. Because I, as I said, will use the 60C, which is perfect. It just fits exactly into carry-on. And as I showed in the last video about it, you can use it for multi-day hikes, which is something I like to do. So I'm a photographer who also likes to stay out for the night. So for this, I think, the bigger pack is perfect. This smaller version though I'd say is the perfect pack for, for day trips. And I'm now going to show you some of its features. I also show you how much you can load and I'll explain how it compares in terms of size and also some of the features to the larger brother. So to the 60C version. So in case you're in for a backpack and you're not sure which to get. So first thing I can tell you this one here, I mean, it's also from NYA Evo and I didn't expect anything different, but just want to also point out build quality again, it's just very good. So um, as I'm used to from the 60C version, it's a very thick material. I think this will be very waterproof. It also comes with a rain cover, but I'm not sure how much it would rain for me to need it. Anyways, it's a yeah, it's with this pack. I mean, for, for some packs you have to buy it separately. Here you get it with the pack, although I don't, I won't need it very often, I think. So you have those, I'm not sure, I think they're called YKK zippers. So the ones which have uh, those um, sealing here, so that no water, water will get in. And then also what it has again, same as the 60C, this very thick bottom here. So if you put it somewhere into, onto wet ground, it will keep your camera gear dry and it's very robust. And yeah, you can just stand it up or put it anywhere, it will not fall over. Same as the big pack. So that's nice. Another thing which I already told you, which I don't want to miss in a pack is, <laughs> yeah, having side pockets where I can put water. I'm no friend of uh, water bladders, which you can also use with this pack, but here you have one on this side. It's a very, uh, some stretchy pocket and you have one on the other side. So it's perfect to attach water or put some other stuff. When it comes to tripod attachment points, you can either put it here at the front. So this is a way I can carry the tripod if I want to bring two water bottles. So one at this side, one at this side. I would just put the tripod here or yeah, you can use those straps here at the side. You have one at the top and the bottom, both sides can put the tripod to the side. So it's just perfect, um, nothing to compromise here. And yeah, let's first look at the size. So I'll just put it on quickly and yeah, I'm uh, one meter 85. Not sure how to um, convert this for you into feet and inches maybe 6'2 or something, I'm not sure. So 1 meter 85 and yeah, this is how it sits. So it's a little smaller than, yeah, not a little, it's uh, I think six or seven centimeters uh, smaller than the 60C version. And you don't have the adjustable shoulder straps like in the 60C. So if you're a little taller, um, this might be a bit short because, um, so first of all, it's comfortable. I had it with 10 kilos, no problem, but um, when you have those straps attached properly, so they sit firm, then the waist belt will be a little too high 
to have it properly on the hip so the weight distribution will not be ideal as with the 60c which i can have a little uh, hang a little deeper because i can adjust those straps then the waist belt will sit perfectly here it's a little higher so just be aware of that if you're tall want to do very long hikes carry a lot of stuff you might rather look for the 60c version but this one here as i said for day trips and i'd say up to 10 kilos it's no problem it's actually very comfortable and i have to say i don't even need much of weight distribution or waist belt for this yeah coming to the waist belt it's here it flaps at the side and uh, while the 60c has it really come all the way around so this one here though has a nice pocket on this side and again the moly attachment points on this side so you can attach additional uh, pockets here and yeah you already see it typical for the NY Apex and many other packs nowadays it opens at the back and yeah this one here is very nicely padded it's very comfortable and yeah, you can open it completely and you get this huge opening so there's nothing in the way when you want to access your camera gear I have the medium uh, camera unit here so here's where the R5 with the 1635 lens would go here I have the 7200 with the adapter so you could also fit uh, 100 400 here I think down here I have my um, recording gear and some filters here are other pockets where I put memory cards so yeah quite some gear um, you could even put a larger one in here but then it would go up to this um, area and yeah you would lose a lot of other uh, packing capacity so I think the medium one is perfect for this one you could even fit a smaller one depending on how much gear you use and here again this feature I like already from the 60c it's this um, divider which you use to not have gear falling off which you load at the top so that's a nice thing let me quickly close this continue the tour and yeah similar to the 60c you also have this compartment here at the front it's a little smaller and still can fit a lot of stuff so you have a laptop compartment which you could also use to put a water bladder you have another compartment and here it goes very deep uh, i put hat gloves other stuff you have a mesh pocket so yeah you can really put what did i put here oh yeah my batteries so stuff like that you would put in here and it really fits a lot of stuff when i show it from this side you will see it so if i really load it how deep this goes and if i want to have it small for travel i just strap it down and it goes really compact now the major difference in terms of load capacity to the 60c version now comes when we open this top compartment so the 60c as i said is six or seven centimeters higher and it fits more gear in this one what i have here i have a rain jacket i have some food i have first aid kit so it's still a big compartment now and with this what i have in here i could easily put uh, food of this size i'm sure maybe five liters of food on top of it and this would be fine so for a longer day hike where you're out for the whole day i think you can load enough stuff you can bring enough water and you'll be fine um, what will be a little hard to fit though in addition to the rain jacket here i have this warming jacket and let me just roll it up so you see how much space it would take so this one here um, I can easily fit into the 60C in addition into this one and also for the 60C you have another opening at the top so a roll up pocket which fits another 8 liters so there you could again put sleeping bag additional jackets clothes stuff like that this is not or you don't get this here what you get though still if you load this completely now with food and you still want to attach this jacket you get the ability to use again the net 
And I already showed this for the 60C and it's one of the coolest features, I think, because it's so versatile. Here it's also included and I just like it. First of all, different to the 60C, it's already attached here, so it's already fit. But you can then either put it, put it down here at the front and then strap something in here or put it here at the top. So there are some loops which are on this side and this is where the hooks go in. And I just quickly show you how you could attach your jacket. So it would just sit here at the top or at the front. So yeah, you can still get another maybe eight liters packing capacity by just using this net on the outside. So although this is just a 36 liter bag, I think I can yeah, easily pack it to last me through a day trip. I also tried it. I could fit a sleeping bag at the top, the mat at the front. So if I don't want to bring a tent, it would be enough even for an overnighter. But yeah, I don't think it's ideal for that because then it will be very heavy, more than 10 kilos. And for this, I think the 60C version has the better carrying system, as I said, because of the adjustability. Also, the 60C has more padding here on those. So it's a little bit more comfortable on the shoulders, while this one here, okay, it's, it's very wide, which is good. And it also has this foam cover, but yeah, 60C, is, it's more comfortable. Um, yeah, other than that, uh, I'd say, yeah, if you're in for multi-day hikes, want the complete one pack to, to rule them all, <laughs> basically multi-day traveling, single day everything you do then yeah you should get the 60c i think also if you're a little bit taller like me if you just want something for day trips city trips so a really small bag also for traveling you want something smaller then get this one i think because it's also having the same options it's just very good bag so i'm gonna use it also yeah, and this is when the battery of the camera died, so I should have really checked it before recording. But yeah, fortunately, I was already at the end of the video, so I decided to just record it now here in the office. So yeah, I hope you liked the video, found it informative, and it helps you deciding what kind of bag to get for your camera gear. Um, yeah, leave a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe for more videos, and yeah, see you in the next video, which hopefully is again about some photography, if the weather is nice, I already have some ideas. So yeah, stay tuned for that. And yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.